When have those that have burned books and censored speech ever been the good guys? Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Lauren Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Censorship really sucks. And all the biggest tech companies seem to be trying to make people self-censor themselves by making up all kinds of arbitrary rules and regulations that only they know of. Then they interpret them as they go, the way they see fit, when it suits their decision-making for arbitrary punishment and deplatforming those in which they seem to disagree with. Sometimes they may even get a complaint from one or two people who have essentially decided that they know what's best for everyone else because they caught their breath while listening to something that didn't fit their ideals instead of just clicking on by and finding something that does fit their ideals. But don't get me distracted. It seems that the logarithm coders make up these rules and make them as mysterious as possible so that they can interpret them any way they want in order to make punishments and deplatforming decisions based on what they're feeling at the moment. Sometimes when they cancel or strike someone, they give no reason at all or they leave that box completely blank when threatening a content creator. See Steven Crowder. Now, it also seems like they're only picking on the biggest influencers and content creators because those are the ones we hear the most about. Think Alex Jones, Steven Crowder, and even the former president. I mean, if they can censor him, they can and will censor anybody. Even Tim Pool has voiced his concern over his three successful channels being yanked without warning if he's not fence-sitting enough. This is one of the many reasons why I don't solely post on YouTube. The reason that I mention it in this week's video is because they've recently threatened and made himself censor himself. Another one of my favorite content creators, Mr. SC Reviews. Link in the description. Now, comparison to the other folks that I just mentioned, he's not very big at all. He only has about 150,000 subs. He pretty much just makes fun of famous folks or folks made famous by failures, flubs, and fickleness by A, demonetizing him with little to no reason and a load of dance moves and waiting around that he has to go through in order to be reinstated and B, threatening to completely ban him due to some of his videos being harassment? Of course, they won't tell him which videos break their rules. He has to guess which ones that need to be deleted or fixed in order to not only be eligible for remonetization, but to also avoid all-out expulsion. Now, what talk show host have you ever seen that doesn't do that on the regular? But I'll let SC tell you about it. YouTube demonetized my channel because of harassment. Even though my channel had no strikes, uh, completely clean, somehow, somewhere, they found harassment. And the thing is that I had over two and a half thousand videos at the time when my channel was demonetized. They don't tell you which videos contain the harassment. So you haven't got many options. And I'm sure you, like me, have noticed that the views from my channel have pretty much halved in that time period. Even though the likes have stayed the same, look, I thank my, my audience out there for liking the videos, watching the videos, commenting, all that. So my regular viewers are getting my videos, but they're not promoting my content like they used to. So I need to get the channel re-monetized again. I think it's very important. Otherwise, the channel could die in a ditch, and I don't want that to happen. So I haven't got many options here, and I'm going to be deleting a lot of videos. I'm talking like 60 million views worth of videos, because YouTube hasn't given me an option. 
The only option is stay demonetized and see the channel target. Delete just a few videos and then put the application in. But if the application gets refused because I picked the wrong videos, I have to wait another two months. Then I can reapply. If I fail that time, another two months. So I have to guess which videos they're talking about. And it's impossible to do. So I'm going to have to delete a lot of videos. Um, which I don't want to do. Because some of those videos have over a million views, over two million views. Of three videos over two million views. But uh, YouTube doesn't give you an option. I think this is, this is the tactic here. They remain vague. And... Um, you know, to get rid of certain content. And I'm also going to be talking about uh, certain topics less going forwards. I notice now that when I go to his channel, since that video that I just showed you, he only has 31 videos left out of all of his thousands. And most of them are about Star Wars. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Star Wars, but I don't particularly want to know everyone's opinion about Star Wars, and I don't go on YouTube to find said opinions either. Uh, I find that a movie or story loses its magic and excitement factor when I find out too much about how things were done or what the artists were thinking at every exact moment while creating. Everyone has a creative process. It's not necessary to know everything about it to tell a compelling story. But uh, don't get me distracted. If memory serves, I believe that SC's channel was actually recommended to me by YouTube while I was watching Tyler Zed of Z Education some months ago. When I clicked on his channel, I found that they both do quite the same type of content. Uh, one covers a little bit more memes than the other one, but they both comment on current stupid, ironic, and jaw-dropping events and idiotic ideas, especially about intersectionality. And as I have commented on SC's channel, I clicked for the tomfoolery, to put it nicely, and stayed for the wheezy laugh. <laughs> Anyway, in this week's video, I just wanted to give a shout out to this awesome Aussie and give him and any other content creator a piece of advice. Start working your way to the other more indie platforms for two reasons. One, you've already been flagged and are now on their radar, which means you will be targeted no matter what your offense or even if you haven't made any offenses. You just know they're going to make you guess again. Which again, I see that you have already pulled down thousands of your videos. And two, business models that do this kind of thing, they discriminate and they pick winners and losers, don't stay in business for very long. So at least for people that still have a sense of humor and like to make folks laugh, Using your God-given right to free speech, YouTube will be a wasteland. Sort of like MySpace is now. And for the same reason. They literally changed their special sauce recipe that made everyone flock to them in the first place. And now folks don't want to eat there anymore. It's actually quite amazing how a small change can create such a large response. Especially now, in the age of the absolute overabundance of information. So, my advice to SC is to keep up the good work. A lot of us Yanks are rooting for you. And rest assured, we're all... struggling. -y. And for those of you that condone cancel culture and advocate for censorship, you can... Get the hell out of my stinking ass! I do hope you enjoyed my video today. Please make sure to check out SC Reviews and support him because what do I say? Censorship sucks. I have put his link below along with all the others that you should click on just in case I disappear too. It's not a secret that these platforms advocate censorship. 
So who's to say that I'm not next? So if you would like to see me continue my work and help me with my goal of becoming a call-in talk show and beating the censors, please make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. A donation would be the ultimate, and I'm still sending out unique gifts for your donations. I'm also posting on other platforms due to the censorship that has been happening here. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Don't forget to click on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my stuff. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.